Well, 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 it is that time again, guys. I can't believe it. It is eight days until I leave the house and I don't return for seven months because I am headed to my sixth cruise ship contract on the Utopia of the Seas. Where did the time go? I feel like I just got off of Explorer. I signed off of Explorer of the Seas on March 8th, 2024, and it is currently May 4th. I, I quite literally do not know where the time went. Time is absolutely flying by. It doesn't matter whether I'm on a contract or I'm home in between contracts. Time just doesn't seem to slow down. It seems to speed up and every year it gets faster and faster. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way, but it is what it is. I am so excited for this next adventure. I can't wait for everything that comes along with it. Because I am going to Utopia, it is a takeout cast, which means I am cast one of the ice show on board. It's a brand new show. We're building it from the ground up and everyone on board is part of the startup team, which is something I've never experienced before. So it's going to be very exciting and very memorable. I feel so grateful for this opportunity, but I've got nothing packed. Since this is my sixth cruise ship contract, I feel like I've got packing down to a T. Will I overpack? Probably. I'm probably gonna pack more than I need. It's inevitable at this point. It tends to happen every contract, but I like to have my things with me. I like to have options when it comes to clothing and I really don't shop all too much throughout a contract. The itinerary for this contract is the Caribbean. We are gonna be only visiting two ports the entire time. So we're gonna be visiting Coco Cay and Nassau Bahamas, which means this makes packing a lot easier for me because I really only need to pack stuff for the tropical climate, which is great because not only is that easy for packing just one season, it also is easy because summer clothes are quite small, so they don't take up much space in the suitcase. an afternoon chai, you know what I mean? Chamberlain Coffee does it every time, I swear. In my previous packing endeavors, I've always started at my closet, but I'm going to change it up this time. And I wanna actually start with active wear because that is the thing that I'm gonna be wearing the most. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm a professional figure skater. So I'm one of the entertainers on board. And because of that, I spend a lot of time in the crew areas and on the ice. And most of the time I just wear comfy clothes and like athleisure, if you will, around crew areas. You really don't get dressed up all too much unless you're going to the bar, like the crew bar, or if you're going in guest areas, you wanna have nicer attire that matches the dress code. That being said, Let's start with leggings. As you can see, I have a lot, a lot of leggings. I've gone through these, I've gotten rid of a ton. I've, and by rid, I mean donated. The reality is I live in active wear. I'm working out almost every day. I'm skating very often. So I like to have my options. I like to have my colors. The great thing about working on a cruise ship is that there is free laundry. You just have to buy your own detergent, but the machines are yours to use for free. And being on a brand new ship, all of the machines are gonna be brand spanking new. So hopefully there should be no issues there. Some of the older ships I've been on, half of the machines are broken. So that definitely, the damper and things because then you end up having to wait for the machine or there's not a label on the machine that's broken you put your stuff in and then it doesn't actually drain the water so we've had a lot of different experiences with laundry on ship but all of that to say i don't need to pack every single pair of leggings i own because i can do laundry but i do want to have my options especially because i like to do laundry about once a week on board. I don't want to do it any more than that. If I don't need to, I like to stretch it out even longer than a week if I can, but usually I do laundry about once a week. Black leggings are going to be the priority because those are the ones I wear most frequently. So I think I'm going to pull four pairs of black leggings. Three, four. I want to grab a couple colored leggings. So I'm going to grab this purple pair from Halara. I've got these nice salmon colored ones. Blue is always fun. And I'm gonna grab these red ones. I do wanna bring one pair of brown leggings. So I need to decide between 
these two shades. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with these for now. I can always change my mind, have a bit of time in that way. Again, call me crazy that I'm bringing nine pairs of leggings, but you know what? I live in them. Plus, sometimes I wear two leggings in one day because I'll work out and then I'll skate, so you gotta have your options. I really love the Dance Studio Joggers from Lululemon and I have them in a couple colors. So I think I'm gonna bring these army green ones and that'll be it for the activewear pants. Here is my pile of leggings. And then I've also got the joggers as well, but I need to pull some biker shorts as well because those are my go-to for my little jogging track, hot girl walk, or even workout sometimes. Those are really nice to have when it's super muggy outside. It's just nice to have your legs breathing a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a couple pairs. This drawer is a little bit overfilled as you can see. I need to organize it better. It's kind of just thrown in there. One, two, three. I grabbed five pairs of shorts, three of which are biker shorts. So I've got these cheetah print ones. I've got a fun pink pair and then your classic black biker short. And I also grabbed two other pairs of shorts that aren't biker shorts. This is the first pair. It's like a navy blue pair. These ones I always wear with my uniform. So it's part of my blues. And then I also have this pair. They're from Lululemon. They're kind of like hiking shorts, but I like to wear them over my fishnets or just in between shows. It is such a hassle to put leggings back on in between shows when you're hot and sweaty. So shorts are the way to go. Now it's time for workout tops. The thing about this is these are very small and they are always needed. Like I wear these almost daily. I'm gonna bring this little white sports bra kind of crop top. I've got the same exact top in this like lavender lilac color. I'm gonna bring this coral one. It's got like a twist back. The same exact top in electric blue, this bright orange one. And then I've got this little floral one. That's it for now. I have like two black workout tops that I wanna pack, but they are in the wash right now. So once they're clean, I will set those aside. I think we're good to go with activewear. Let's move on to the closet now. Welcome to my closet. We've got lots of stuff. It's pretty much color organized for the most part, starting from red and like burgundies up top, top left. And then we make our way through the colors. Bottom is pretty much all neutral. So whites, browns, grays, and blacks. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna get into a flow. I'm gonna pull a few things and then I will show you everything that I grabbed that I will be bringing. I feel like it's easier and it'll speed up the process a little bit. We're all about efficiency here. So let's get to it. As you can see from the mirror, there's a lot of stuff on my bed. I've pulled a good amount, a good amount. Because I still have eight days till I leave, I can always swap things out or remove things if I feel like I don't need them. I'm trying to pack things I know that I will wear, like staples, but also things that are a little bit different than previous contracts because I always gravitate towards the same exact pieces, which is great. However, I have a lot of clothes that I want to use. I've got some new things. I've got some old things that I just love and I've had forever. So we're gonna go through everything. First, we've got some cozies. Like these are comfy, loungy things that I'm gonna wear around the ship. Definitely too warm for the Caribbean, but they're things that I wear in the crew areas because it's always freezing for whatever reason. Always super cold in the crew areas. They wanna keep us awake, I don't know. Um. Okay, I pulled two flannels. Flannels are my go-to on the contract. So I've got this one. This is from Urban Outfitters. And then I have this one. This is a staple for me. Pack it every contract. I just love it so much. For sweater type tops, I've got this little striped one. This could be worn on like a chillier day, also in crew areas. I've got this little top. I love this. I've also got this striped sweater. I thrifted this in New York and I've got this super slouchy like crochet. Obviously not very warm, but it's cute and I can wear it on the contract. For button downs, 
I did pull quite a few button downs or like long sleeves if you will but again these I love to wear off the ship like open over top a pair of denim shorts and like a basic top so I've got this yellow linen one this is gonna be great for the warm weather I've got this blue striped one this one is just fun it's like a multicolored button down I've also got this green striped top. This is a set, so there are matching shorts that go along with it. I have it also in pink and I love it, but I want to switch it up for this contract, so I'm bringing the green. I've got another linen top. This is just a white one and it's sort of cropped. And then lastly, I have this button down. This is more of like a dressier option for smart casuals. Um, let's move on to bodysuits. First bodysuit I pulled is this really bright orange one. It's got a high neck. This is gonna be great for the summer months. Tropical climate. I mean, you can't go wrong with this color. Going along with the bright colors, I also pulled this like electric blue one. This is from Bershka. I've got a pastel yellow one. This one is always a go-to. And then I've pulled this teal one. This is a dressier one. So this is definitely either for like the crew bar when I decide I wanna get dressed up or I can also wear this with some nice trouser pants or a skirt for smart casual and guest areas. My favorite trend at the moment is vests. So I packed three, call me crazy. I've got a white one. I've got this like taupey, sort of gray, sort of brown colored one. And then I also have a black one. We've got some good neutral options. Do -do -do -do. Everything else I pulled is kind of miscellaneous. They're sort of like little tops, like things that I can wear off in port. Some of them I could dress up for smart casual, but most of them not really. So I've got this basic black top. I've got this off the shoulder pink little top. It's not a bodysuit, just full length. This cute little blue one, tags are still on, it's brand new. This little baby doll style is super cute and white goes with everything, so packing this. And then I really like this one. I had it on Explore with me. So I'm going to be packing it again because I feel like I can make a bunch of outfits out of this top. We have moved rooms. I am now in my second closet. <laughs> this is my brother's old room when he used to live here years ago. So I have kind of taken over the closet since it was empty and it's got all of my dresses, skirts, and pants, like trouser pants. I thought we could pull some dresses, some rompers maybe, things more for smart casual because dresses are just the easiest way to go. And also skirts, I've got skirts in here as well. grabbed enough. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to cut back on the dresses because right now I cannot decide so I've pulled a bunch but nothing is going into the suitcase just yet. For formal night I've got this maxi one. I love it because it's just so comfortable but it it looks really nice. I have this maxi dress that's like a baby pink. I've never worn it so I want to try that on before I decide if I'm bringing it or not. I've got my black maxi dress staple and then i've also got a white maxi dress that has like an open back so that's four really i would only need two but i like to have options i grabbed a couple skirts i've got a black satin skirt this like peachy color also got this printed one haven't packed that in a long time and then i got this one from a store in san juan on my first contract and i love it i haven't packed it since so I think I'm gonna bring this as well. These are falling off my shoulder. The final skirt I packed is a maxi skirt. This is really flowy. It, it is quite heavy but it's a very versatile piece that I'm gonna wear a ton. I had it last contract and it was great so I'm gonna be packing that again. This dress could really be worn out and about or it could be for smart casual. This is a fun little sundress. I thought it was cute. And then lastly I have this little nude romper this is super comfy and has pockets i'm gonna have to narrow down the dresses i think as well as the other stuff too but we'll see <laughs> packing light is not my strong suit like we already know that going into it so don't get your hopes up that i'm gonna be packing minimally because as much as i'd love to be a minimalist i'm just i'm just not you guys have got to give me a little bit of grace with this because if you were leaving your house and leaving almost all of your belongings at home and you only had a small closet to work with, you would find it very difficult or most of you would find it very difficult to pack because 
you end up wearing like the same thing every day. You know what? It is what it is. It comes with the job. I do my best to pack lightly, but it, it never works out that way. I have pulled a selection of shorts, skirts, skorts, all that. So I've got three pairs of printed shorts that I can mix and match. These are like trouser shorts, which I thought would be cute. I've got a green skirt, a pink skirt, and then this little printed skirt. It's super thin, so it's like easy to pack. I've got a white skirt that is part of a set so that I can use with a bunch of stuff. And then this is gonna be good for pickleball. This is my little workout skirt. And then I have one pair of like comfy shorts. For denim, I have narrowed it to these four. So I've got one skirt, two pairs of like blue denim. This is a like a mom kind of fit. And then these ones are longer short. And then I got white as well, or like an off white. I'm gonna move on to tees and long sleeves and things like that. So this little graphic tee, going to bring this basic white one. This one, just to have a little piece of home with me, I'm bringing this little cropped t-shirt. Also gonna bring this fitted one from First Form. Last but not least, I got this black long sleeve. I have transferred everything from my room into the spare bedroom just across the hall. This is where we're at. This is everything all together. I have already pulled a few things and put it back in my closet and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be pulling more stuff to put away because I definitely don't need this many clothes. Also, it is a seven month contract, so I do need to have a little bit of variety in there. I don't wanna wear the same exact thing over and over and over and over again. Even though there's nothing wrong with that, I, I just like to have my options. We're gonna leave this for today and we will revisit either tomorrow or the following day. I bought a few things that were not on my list, but for the most part, I stayed on track, which I'm, I'm proud of myself for. I got two of these little cotton round packets. I've got some more toothpaste. Band-Aids, these are always good to have in my little first aid kit bag because you never know when you're gonna need these. I picked up two different supplements. The first is biotin plus keratin, and then I also got collagen plus vitamin C. I picked these up because I really want to incorporate them into my daily routine, especially when I'm on board. My nails get absolutely destroyed from the water on board, so I'm hoping this will help strengthen them a bit. And it's also good for my hair and my skin as well. I got a box of tampons. I got this brow gel from e.l.f. I also got the putty primer from e.l.f. because I'm all out. And then I, lastly, I got the NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade velvet no whipped caviar i've had this pinned for like seven months and i can never find it in the store this exact shade i don't know how it's gonna look on me but i really like the look of it so this isn't necessarily for shows per se but i really don't have many lip liners so i thought this was a good one to grab and that's everything this was probably the lightest target haul i've done for a contract in a long time because we're going to be in california for about a month or just under, I can easily access Amazon Prime or Target or Walmart. Like it's gonna be easy to pick things up if I need them. So I think we're good for now. Today is Monday, which is crazy because we are officially six days out from my next contract. I cannot believe it. I'm feeling really ready. Like I feel like I've had a nice long vacation. It doesn't feel rushed, but six days is very, very soon. Just, just crazy. I wanna pack a little bit more today. We're pretty much good to go. I just wanna go through everything that's pulled, see if there's anything I can get rid of. I did get rid of a few things that was in that pile, so I'm happy about that. And I need to pull bathing suits today and all the other odds and ends. Maybe I can pack my carry-on bag as well, cause that is a very strategic process. 
I did not show you this before, but every single contract I write out all the things that I need to do, need to buy, and need to pack. So I have it all laid out right here. It's quite an extensive list, but most of this stuff is already pulled. I just gotta get to more so the stuff that goes into my carry-on bag. I just really like having it on a physical piece of paper rather than just like a to-do list on my phone. Moving across the hall, here is the pile. I did add the green pants that I just purchased yesterday. Super excited about those. And I have pulled some things and put it back in my closet. I almost have to force myself to get rid of stuff because I really enjoy my clothes and I like to have options. Hello, Coco. Hello. I know. Hello. Okay. Oh, thank you. I did pull some trouser pants. I did not show you. I've got this gray pinstripe pair. These are a new color of the Archer pants that I have just gotten hemmed for this contract. I've got my white pair, which is always essential, and I have a linen pair of pants. These are going to be versatile, all three of them. I can mix and match. Um, mum, 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 mum. I know I should get rid of stuff, but it's just, it's really hard to do. I feel like I won't wear this as much as I think I will. Then again, it's such a good staple. We're gonna be in the Caribbean, so I have to be a little bit pickier. So I will put this back. I gotta put one of these back, either the multicolored one or the green striped. I can't have both. I'm also gonna get rid of this little vest because I already have white and black packed, so I feel like I don't need this taupe color. That's all I'm pulling for now. Like I said, I did pull a couple things already. We do need to move on to bathing suits. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. My bathing suits have gotten out of hand. I need to get rid of some of the older ones. I did get a bunch of new suits that I'm definitely gonna be packed. Is it necessary to bring as many suits as I usually do? No, it's not, but I do like to have options. And I'm basically in a suit every single day, so. This is the first one I'm pulling. It's like a terry cloth sort of material. This is a fun brand new one I got. It's a set. I did need a new basic black one, so I'm gonna bring this. I got my sparkly one I'm gonna bring. This fun green one. This is another new one I got. I haven't worn it yet. Hmm. Got this one in Italy, so I definitely wanna bring this because it's nice and bright. Bring a red one. Last one I'm gonna bring is a yellow one, so I'm deciding between this one and this one, but I think I'm gonna bring this one instead. That's gonna be it. All right, that's going back in there, and that's it, I think. There we go. Bathing suits are packed. She seems sad. And the luggages are back out yet again. These are the suitcases I always bring. I really prefer the hard shell luggage just because I, it feels more sturdy to me. They do become a little bit of a pain when you're trying to fit them under the bed on the ship, but we, we make it work. I don't actually remember how I did it last time, but we figured it out. So let's, uh, let's start packing these up. Coco just breaks my heart every single contract. She always gets in my luggage. <laughs> and it makes me so sad. Hi, baby. is packed. I've got two pairs of heels in there, a jumper, like a sweater, my tote bags, and then my toiletries. So I'm feeling pretty good. The second suitcase is completely empty as of right now. So we're doing very well. I want to move on to what's in my carry-on bag because I never really show what I put in my carry-on. I have my backpack, which is from Amazon, and it's incredible. It is like a magic backpack. You can fit so much in there. I don't know how, but there's so many different compartments and zippers, so I love that thing. I'll have it linked. So I've got that, and then I also have a rolly carry-on, which I always put my skates in because I refuse to travel without my skates in my carry-on. Like, I will never put it in my checked luggage. 
I know a lot of people do that and I've been told that you can't bring it in your carry-on by other people but I have never had an issue with it I've always been able to bring it with me and I really need to have my skates in my carry-on so that I know they're gonna make it to the final destination for sure without any delays that being said let's let's get those carry-on bags so here is the famous Amazon backpack and then this is my carry-on it's gotten a little bit dirty from travel I need to get like a clear sleeve or something for it I've laid everything out for you aside from my skates those are downstairs but those also go in my carry-on like I said so I've got my laptop my perfumes my jewelry box sunglasses passport some of my makeup my speaker, my brush, retainer, an extra phone case, then I've got my drone, my GoPro and all its attachments, my instant camera, my Kindle, my iPad, and my phone. So this is pretty much the rundown. I also always have a spare pair of clothing with me in my carry-on, so like extra undies, socks, a bra, some kind of top, leggings usually. That is pretty standard for me, I always have that with me at all times whenever I'm traveling. I usually wear a sweatshirt of some sort, but if I get hot, I'll just throw it in my bag. But that usually ends up on my body during the flight because flights are always freezing. I don't know why, but they are. That's what's gonna be inside my carry-on. Let's pack it up. placed another Amazon order. In all honesty, these are things that I really do need. So, we've just got two things in the package. First is another SSD drive because I have so much footage to back up and because I won't be able to show you the rehearsal process and the creation process straight away, I want to I want to back it up on this hard drive. I have the same one already. I love it, but it's starting to get quite full. Other thing I got is a new order of packing cubes because as you know, I am a packing cube stand. I love them and I only have enough for one of my suitcases so I thought I would buy another order. So this I think is the same exact one. Maybe it's slightly different. No, this is the same exact set that I already own. Very exciting and I want to say the pack of six was $9. So, you can't go wrong there. Well guys, this is it. Everything is packed, we're ready to go. I feel very prepared for this opportunity and I'm very excited. It is a surreal feeling to be leaving again for another contract and I just think back all those years ago when I left for my first contract, how much I have grown, not only as a performer, but as a crew member on board and also as a person. And also how much my channel has grown and how far it's come because I think when I signed on my first contract I had about a thousand subscribers so I just really cannot believe how far we have come together so thank you for being here whether you've been here for a week or you've been here since the very beginning I appreciate you all so much fingers crossed we make it to 100k in the next month or so I have had my eye on this goal forever now and it finally feels within reach so if you're not already subscribed make sure to subscribe and help me get one step closer to that goal but I'm going to leave you here I love you all to the moon and back thank you again for watching stay tuned for more prep videos and I will see you in the next one bye guys